Tagalog every once in a while. You, you understand, guys? Tagalog, no? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. That you're... Good. <laughs> Very good. I like that. All right. Uh, before we start, let's uh, let's pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, we thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord, for everyone here who gave their time, their effort, um, their commitment, Lord God, to be here tonight, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord, that uh, when we leave this place, Lord, we will be better persons than when we entered this place, Lord God. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit, Lord, will, will move our hearts, Lord. Control me, Lord God. And... Uh, be the one, Lord, to teach us, Lord God. Be the one, Lord, to, to convict us, Lord, and touch our hearts, Lord, and make us understand these things, Lord God. Lord, um, watch over us, Lord, as we study your word, Lord God. As we study, Lord, uh, and uh, follow you, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, again, Lord. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for, for the food at the back, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for bringing everyone safely here, Lord. And if there's anyone here, Lord God, who is um, on their way, Lord, watch over them and bring them safely, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Water baptism. So, may I ask, uh, who among you is already baptized? Water, water baptized. Mm. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, it's okay. I just want to know the statistics. Okay. So, some of you already baptized, some not yet baptized, but um, I, I believe this topic is uh, for all of us. Um, for those who are not yet baptized, uh, hopefully, after after this session, they they, they will be they, they will have a a an inclining heart, an inclined heart, no, to to go through baptism. And for those who who are already baptized, uh, I hope that uh, uh, tonight you will learn also how how to encourage others and how to be strong in 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 the basics of our faith. Okay, uh, we we have uh, four subtopics tonight. One is a. Uh, First is following Christ, and then water baptism as a step of obedience. Why we should be baptized in water, and what water baptism is. So three out of four topics, out of four uh, subtopics is about water baptism, but 100% we'll be talking about following Christ. Okay? Okay. Um, yeah, I I give you ten point for that. Uh, th this guy is named. Uh, his name is Vince Lombardi. It was taken in 1961 when they when they won the NFL uh, championship. What's special about this guy is uh, during their training period, he would always go to his uh, uh, team and he would say, "Gentlemen, this is a ball." Imagine, these are people who play for, for, for money. These are professional players. And then, gentlemen, this is a ball. It's a very basic, ba very basic thing, very fundamental thing. And what I like with what he did, he was very, spe it, uh, he concentrated on the basics. He concentrated on the fundamentals. That's why in the next few seasons, the, the team was under him. Uh, they got several championships and all they did was uh, of course uh, they concentrated on the basics they concentrated on the fundamentals and tonight that's what we're going to do we're not going to talk about the ball but uh, everything that that we will understand tonight that we will study about is in the Bible okay so tonight is our training night no Every one of us will get trained tonight, hopefully. And then when we go out there, when it's time to play, to play God's game, if, if it, when, it's, when it comes time to, to fight for God, hopefully we, 
we become champions. Can we read this uh, verse, Matthew 4, 18 to 20? Now, as Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately, they left their nets and followed him. Can you notice, in just three verses, no, there's no delay. When, when, when Jesus said to them in verse 19, follow me and I will make you the fishers of men, immediately, no, the, the disciples did not, did not say, uh, can I pack my things? Can I pack my bags? Can I, can I say goodbye to my parents? Or, or can, I, can, I, you know, can I bring my favorite, uh, favorite toy, favorite blanket? No. Immediately, they followed. And I want you to, to look closely in these verses. Uh, can you give me a word that's mentioned two times in here? Nets. Nets, yeah, because I underlined it. So that uh, it will not take time. <laughs> okay, nets. You remember that, remember that. And then let's go on to the next, uh, next few verses. Uh, verses 20 to 22. Let's read again. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boat, with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately, they left the boat and their father and followed him. So the same, the same thing. Again, when... <laughs> When Jesus, then there was a time, when there, there was an opportunity for them to follow Jesus immediately. They left what? The boat and then the Father. There's, some, there's, a word, there's an idea here that's repeated three times. Okay, can you guess what's that word? Huh? Oh, yes, it's Father. So that's underlined, no? And, and, and when, you, when we see James and John later in the Bible, it's always the sons of Zebedee, sons of sense of thunder. What, 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 there are two things that, that uh, hit me with these uh, few verses. One is immediately they followed. You know, the word immediately. And the next thing was, on the previous, previous slide, it was uh, Peter. Huh? It was Peter and uh, was the other guy? Was the name of the other guy? Okay, nice. Peter, Andrew, they sacrificed their nets. During that time, they, 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 the fish, fish, um, uh, what do you call it? Ang yung pangingis da. Sorry, I can't find the English word. <laughs> yung yung pangingis da yung ano yung ha ano? Fish. Mas mahabab. Yung 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 pangingis da yung isa sa mga ano yung mga sikat na na way of ano yun di ba na pamumuhay. But what they did? Iwan ko na yan. Pero itong sila, sila, ano, sila James at John, sinong iniwan nila? Yung boat. And yung father. Sino dito may boat? Wala, no? Oh, social siya. Di ba? They, they have their boats. So, they, their business ma, ma, must be going great, no? And when they followed Christ, they didn't think, uh, who, who's going to feed us? Who's going to take care of my father? Who's going to take care of us? Now we're going to leave my our father, no? Immediately. When they had the opportunity to follow Christ, they followed. Okay? <clears throat> there, there was one time, uh, 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 misan, uh, uh, Madaling araw yun, no? So, yung, yung anak namin, nung two, nung two years old pa lang siya, sa baba siya natutulog, sa sofa. Well, di naman sofa, sofa bed. Ngayon, uh, mga 3, 3 a.m. in the morning, no? Gumising siya, tapos uh, umaakyat siya dun sa, sa bed. Ngayon, para matulog siya, lagi siyang may, dalag, may, may tatlong requirement siya. Una, yung milk niya. 
Pangalawa yung yung kumot niya. Pangatlo yung yung staff toy niya, no? Ngayon hindi siya makakita sa bed kasi yung isa, yung toy nandito, yung yung blanket nandito tapos yung milk nasa bibig niya. Pero nung nakita ko siya, sabi ko, "Come, come, Ellie." Ginawa niya, pinitawan niya lahat. Tapos umakyat. So ako na, na, na nakita ko yun eh na tumatak sa isip ko na kung ano man yung dala-dala niya nung tinawag ko siya lumapit siya kagad sa akin and so we can see here no uh, Peter, Andrew, James and John their actions were immortalized no? by, by 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 the scriptures no na kung ano man yung ginawa nila sigurado kung ano man yung iniwan nila natatandaan ng Panginoon natin. Okay? So, kung ano man, kung magkaroon kayo ng, time, ng, ng opportunity para, para full time or, or no, uh, all the way na, na, na magpa-follow kay Christ, kung ano man yung mga i-give up natin, matatandaan niyo yun. Mapapansin niyo yun. And uh, He will uh, sympathize with us. If you love me, you will obey what I command. Sino dito yung nasa isang loving relationship? Who among you is in a loving relationship? Wala? <laughs> wow! <laughs> huh? Loving relationship? You're with your wife and, and husband and you're not in a loving relationship? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, did you notice that it's easier to... Mas madaling mahalin yung, yung tao na, na mahal din tayo. Pansin niyo ba yun? Hindi. Hindi na pansin. Mas, mas, mas madaling mahalin yung mga taong alam natin na mahal din tayo, di ba? Kaya lang, kung minsan, yung pagmamahal na natatanggap natin, hindi hindi perfect. Ang bawa, yung, yung husband, may gustong bilhin, mabait kay wife. No? O kaya... Yung, yung children mabait kasi may ginawang kalokohan sa school. Kung baga kung minsan, may, may motive. But I want you to know, no? I want you to remember that God's love is pure. No? In Him, there is no darkness at all. Kung baga, wala siyang motive. Wala siyang hidden motive. Wala siyang inihingi kapalit sa pagmamahal. And, and siya sabi na yan, kung mahal mo ako, you will obey. And so, and so ang, ang gusto kong ma- maitindihan natin ngayon, He loves us. And for me, no? It's easier to, to love God because His love is uh, is pure. Okay. Let's go here. Uh, let, let's read this one. Now, large crowds were going along with Him, and He turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, he Yes, and even his own life. He cannot be my disciple. So, imagine natin, no? Large crowds were following Christ. And then, habang naglalakad-lakad sila, he turns to them. Siyempre, madami, no? Madami nag- nagpa-follow sa kanya. Sigaw siya. Anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers, yes, even his own self, he cannot be my disciple. So, ang sinasabi dito ni, ni Jesus, yung love natin para sa Kanya should be at the highest level na kung sino man yung second place, magmumukhang hate to sa layo ng priority and love na na ibili kayo natin kay God. At yung nasabi niya dito. That's why following Christ must be our first priority. Okay? And anyone who does not carry his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. And so, following Christ entails sacrifice. Um, meron akong sinesharean dati, mga ano pa yun eh, mga 2014 pa yun, sinesharean ko lalaki. Naging believer naman siya. Pero, during that time, meron siyang pinagdadaan ng masakit sa buhay niya, no? Emotionally, Uh, so sabi ko, 
alam mo, kahit maging, maging Christian ka, hindi ibig sabihin nun, mawawala yung sakit na yan. Hindi ibig sabihin nun, magiging okay ka na. Actually, baka lalo pang sumakit yan, sabi ko. At, mm, oh, pa- parang tinakot ko siya, pero sabi ko sa kanya, kung, kung hindi kita mahal, hindi ko nasabihin sa'yo ito. Kumbaga, wala, <laughs> wala akong mapapala kung, kung, kung nasabihin ko sa ito. And, mm, true enough, lalong sumakit, lalong humirap, but, he's okay now. <laughs> okay na siya. Ang dami niya nang nasasyaran, ang dami niya nang nagdadala sa, sa church, and, uh, baptized na rin siya. So, blind item, no? <laughs> um, okay. Following Christ requires willingly, willingness to pay the cost. For which one of you, when he wants to build a tower, does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if he has enough to complete it. Sin dito mga ano, mga nagmamanage ng mga project. No? No? Mga, di ba, pag, nag, pag, may mga, pag mayroon tayong mga project, no? when we're in a project, lista natin yung mga cost. Manpower, uh, to finish it in two months, kailangan ko ng 20 na tao, and yung 20 na tao, kailangan ng gantong salary, yung 20 na tao, kailangan ng gano'ng kadaming equipment. And so, inilista natin. So, t- sa sabi ni Jesus, sit down and calculate the cost. Na-try na, na niyo na ba i-calculate yung cost ng pag-follow kay Jesus? Hmm. Okay. Parang ngayon, no? For me, no? May, may cost din sa akin. Kasi, dito ako, imbis na kumakain ako sa likod, dito ako. No? And then, before, a few, a few months, a few weeks ago, Talagang ano, talagang marami, marami akong pagdadaanan. Kayo, may, may cost din sa inyo. Mahirap mag ano, eh, mahirap maging gising ng ganitong oras, di ba? And then yung mga kadigroup ko, yung iba, hihintayin pa ako niyan mamaya para pag mag na ako. So, so, lahat tayo may cost, no? Pero, mayroon dalawang cost dito eh. Yung first is yung cost natin in following Christ. And then, yung isang cost na hindi nagbabago, yung binayaran ni Christ sa cross. Hindi nagbabago yun eh. Isipin nyo, kani, uh, kanina binilang ko 21 tayo, may mga dumating na, sabihin natin 30. 4, 8, 10. 4, 8, 10. 4, 8, 31. 31 tayo dito. Kung hindi dahil kay Christ, dapat lahat tayo nasa hell na eh. Diba? Pero yung cost na, na binayaran niya, nung nandun siya sa cross, yung 31 na eternity na yon in hell, in just three hours, it, in, in a few hours, no, on the cross, he suffered, he, he, no, he took it upon himself. Imagine the cost, the, and suffering, and, and the, umaga, yung, yung sacrifice niya to buy us, no? And so, when, when we think about no uh, our cost we should always think about god's uh, jesus cost to bring us to where we are now kasi it will always be the same and whatever cost that we have in following him will be will always be smaller will always be insignificant to the cost that he himself paid Can we read this one? One, two, three. For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. So, ano man yung cost, ano man yung suffering, ano man yung, yung cost na binubuhat natin. No? I am confident of this thing. He who began a good work will perfect it until the day of Jesus Christ. So, from this beginning until the end. Christ is with us, no? Kasama natin siya, no? He's on our side. Kakampi natin siya in our suffering. Kakampi natin siya in following Him. And so, malakas ang loob, ang, ang loob natin na, mag, na, na mag-pray na, Lord, teach me. Kasi, kailangan kayang dunin dito, eh. At kung hindi kayang tinitch, matagal daw, no? So, kaya malakas ang loob natin. Kasi may, may promise si God lagi. And then we go to the next topic. Water baptism. 
as a step of obedience. Okay. Jesus modeled water baptism as a step of obedience to the Father. So, okay, can we read this one? When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son whom I love. With you I am well pleased. So, can you see? First, a Jesus modeled obedience to the Father. If Jesus who is, uh, who is uh, sinless, Jesus who is God himself, if he himself displayed obedience by being baptized, pa paano pa tayo, di ba? And so, and another special thing about this one, when Jesus was baptized, God the Father and God the Holy Spirit, they manifested on that particular point in time. Because of his obedience. Okay? Any questions? Okay, good. <laughs> okay. The early believers also took this step of obedience. So then, those who had received his word were baptized, and that day, there were added about 3,000 souls. So, on that day, 3,000 people, no? Na baptized in one day. And then 3,000. That's at least five times as big as CCF Singapore, no? Paano mo ipunin yun? Paano kung lahat yung gusto kumatend ng GLC? Lalagay mo sa WhatsApp group. 3,000. Ilang <laughs> oras mo ilalagay yun, di ba? And so, okay. Let's remember this, ah. This in verse 41. Now, uh, let's go back a bit to verse uh, 22. Let, let's read this one. Come on. Men of Israel, listen to these words. Jesus the Nazarene, a man attested to you by God with miracles and wonders and signs which God performed through him in your midst, just as you yourselves know, this man delivered over by the predetermined plan and foreknowledge of God, you nailed to the cross by the hands of godless men and put him to death. Okay. Verse 22 to 23. This is Peter, no? Peter preach. Okay? Then, let's see what happened. What happened next? In verse 37. Let's, let's jump a bit. Now, when they heard this, they were pierced to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brethren, what shall we do? So, can you see the, the, the succession of events? Yung pagkakasunod, pagkakasunod? Someone preach. So, May mga nakapakinig ng good news. After they listened, they were pierced to the heart. And then after that, when they were pierced to the heart, when they, when they believed, then when they were uh, convicted, then there's a time they, they got baptized. So, in Acts 2, no? in Acts 2, it clearly, clearly shows that still, salvation is by faith. And Baptism came after salvation. Is that clear? Is that clear? Okay? Because some, some people are, uh, are using this to, you know, okay, let's, get, let's get baptized. No? They, they think that, uh, they say that baptism is a uh, requirement for, for salvation. Uh, no. If we, we read the whole context, it's, that's not what happens. No? So if, you, if someone you know believes that way and is a Christian, uh, I hope you, you lovingly convince them that no, no, the, the, that, that's not the case. No? Don't add anything to what Christ did on the cross. Okay? And then, another um, verse, Acts 8, the early believers also took this step of obedience. But when they believed, Philip preaching the good news about the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ, they were being baptized, men and women alike. So, in, chap in Acts 2 and Acts 8, there was nothing in between when they believed and then they got baptized. No? There was, no, ano, walang, walang break, walang, teka, mag-GLC mag muna ako, kaya teka, mag-ano muna ako, ah, papaalam muna ako sa asawa ko. Wala. Tuloy-tuloy yun. 
That's what the early Christians did. Okay? Do, do you remember this one? Do you remember this? Okay. So, it's in the same, ah. Faith in Christ results in salvation. Baptism is under good works. Okay? Okay. Okay. Why we should be baptized in water? Oh, why? Okay. First reason. In Matthew 28, uh, I think you're very familiar with this one, no? Can, can you read this? Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Okay, I'm going to ask you something. Can you disciple someone if you are not a, a disciple? Can you baptize someone if you are not baptized? Some are doing this, some are doing that. <laughs> let's, let's read through it, no? Okay. <clears throat> Again, this, verses 19 to 20, we go back to 16 to 18. So we know the, the, the context, no? But the 11 disciples proceeded to Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had designated. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some were doubtful. And Jesus came up and spoke to them, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. And so, to whom was Jesus talking to? Kanin siya nakipag-usap? Sa disciples? You know, kung, if you're going to make disciples, no? And you are not a disciple yourself, no? What will be what will be your basis on making a disciple if you don't know what it what it's like to be one? Correct? For example, okay, let's just say you invite someone to JLC. Come on, let's go to JLC. They have nice food there, they, they, they have some teachings in the Bible. Sometimes it's fun there, no? And then they ask you, oh, what time tayo pupunta? What time pupunta? Hindi mila ka dokay. Kaya na lang, ganda yun. Tingin mo pupunta yun. Pupunta yung tao. Hindi, di ba? Pag nag ka, dapat kasama ka rin, di ba? Eh, paano naman kung ano, kung ikaw, sasabihin mo dun sa kakilala mo, ano, da, five years ka ng, ano, five years ka ng Christian, dapat, pabaptize ka na. Eh, ikaw mismo, ten years ka na, di ka pabaptize. Susunod ba sa'yo yun, di ba? And so, for me, no? <laughs> for me, what I understand is, before you make disciples, you should be a disciple yourself because there's no basis. There will be no, you will have no basis na to mold him into a disciple, no? And then, nakakaya naman yun, mag-invite ka mag-baptize kung hindi ka baptize, di ba? And so, let's go back. Yeah. Let's go back to this one. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to serve all that I commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Now, um, what's what I find very special about this uh, this uh, great commission is that when you go and make disciples and baptize them, you are making you are doing it in the name of God the Father. You're making it in the name of God the Son. You're making it in the name of God the Holy Spirit. And whenever the name of God is involved in the, in the Bible, beautiful and, and great things happen, no? So, personally, for me, no, I, when, there's a, when there's a baptism, umi extra ako doon, no? When, uh, the last time we had the baptism was in 2016, in in the retreat, uh, ano pa yun, may, may bagong opera pa ako nun, may, may sugat-sugat pa ako sa katawan, pero tinakbo ko yun kasi tinanghali ako ng gising. <laughs> kasi alas 6 ng umaga yata yun, o 5.45, no? Tapos, pag 
ano ko sa sa swimming pool ramdam ko talaga yung level ng tubig ang lamig eh hanggang hanggang dito so that was in 2016 uh, I was there and then can you guess what happened the year before 2015 there was also a retreat there was also a baptism no and umeksa na naman ako <laughs> And then, can you, can you guess what happened in 2014? May retreat ulit. Kaya lang, nung 2014, si Pastor Peter. So lahat ng mga tao, kinuhid si Pastor Peter. So malayo lang ako. So wala akong picture. Tinry kong hanapin sa Facebook page ng mga photographer natin, pero wala akong nakitang picture ko eh. Pero, nandun din ako. Kasi, dalawang ano eh, dalawa kayong klase ng tao na nag-o-obey. Ikaw, nandun ka to baptize? And then, the, the one who is undergoing bap- baptism, he's also obeying, no? And, and sabi, sabi ni God, if you love me, no? you will obey my commands. And then, my, my father and I are with you, no? So, it's a very, very special time, no? And then, so 2014, wala akong picture. Pero ito, 2013, extra na naman ako. Kasi, uh, it was in the beach and the, the waves are, are ano, talagang malakas. So, may mga tao sa likod, baka daw tangayin yung, ano, yung, yung binabaptize. So, so tingnan niya, na, na, ano ito ah, 2013, no? 2013. Siguro mo, naka-V-power na pulang t-shirt at hindi tayo tandaan yan. Then, 2012, walang baptism. Kasi leaders retreat, inassume nila na lahat baptize na. Pero noong 2011, ito yun. Nakapipa ko ulit si Gwamon. <laughs> Matinggad pa rin yung ulit na two years na. Uh, anyway, so ganito. Uh, ayan, uh, lumalaban yung double chin, no? Pero ang sabi, yung baptism should be submerged. Ay, nakasulit pala si Ate Jo, sorry. <laughs> Submerged, no? So, ayun naman. Nailubog naman ako ng maayos. And then, ayan na. Okay na. And so, baptism, part of obedience. Okay. Ito pang gusto kong i-emphasize dito sa baptism and sa Great Commission. Sabi dito sa, sa verse 20, I am with you always to the end of age. That's a promise, di ba? That's a promise of Jesus Christ. Ngayon, if you remember, sinabi din ni Jesus Christ, if two or three are gathered in my name, I am in their midst. So two, di ba? Two? Two talaga eh. Isang nagbabaptize, isang nagbabaptize. Tapos may iba pang witness. So nandun na naman si God. No? Another promise on top of another promise. And then, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Another promise. Di ba? Do not be afraid for I am with you. So, ang daming promise. Every, all pra, kumbaga, pumangili ka dun sa mga promises na yun. God is with us during our baptism. God is with us when we, when we are obeying Him, when we are uh, following Him wholeheartedly. Okay. If anyone loves me, ah, can, can, we, can we read? If anyone loves me, He will keep my word, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our abode with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. So when we obey God, when we obey Jesus Christ, God and Jesus are with us. And then we move two verses forward. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. And so, the Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they, they are always with us when we obey. And obedience is also our way of showing God that we love Him. So why should we, bap- we be baptized in water? It is a sign. It is a sign of our commitment to follow Christ. Uh, but someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. 
show me your faith without deeds and I will show you my faith by my deeds. You see that his faith and his actions were working together and his faith was made complete by what he did. And so, kung nung naging Christian tayo, di ba? It's an internal change, no? The conviction ni God, no? The, the, our realization that we, we are sinful, our realization that God is holy, and our belief, belief na yung ginawa niya sa cross, ang nag-save sa atin, it's all internal, di ba? Di, di mo ba mapansin? Actually, ibang, di, ba? di mo ba mapansin na Christian itong taon to. But baptism, is a sign of what happened inside of us. That, okay, do you remember the pictures, no? A lot of people are there. So what, what we're telling is, the, the bapti, baptism is the, they call it the outward sign of our inward change. Okay? So why should we, bapti- we be baptized in water? It is a picture of what happened to us when we were saved. Um, Romans 6. Uh, can we read this one? Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a life. So, it is a picture no? that pagka lubog sa atin na ganyan, pag nilubog tayo sa tubig, it's a picture na we were buried with Christ and then pag natin, we were raised with Christ from the dead. I get another verse, no? Colossians 2. Basahin nila natin. Basahin natin. In Him, you were also circumcised with a circumcision not performed by human hands. Your whole self ruled by the flesh was put off when you were circumcised by Christ. Having been buried with Him in baptism, in which you were also raised with Him through your faith, in the working of God, who raised Him from the dead. And so, Colossians 2 says, we were saved through faith. And having been buried within baptism, we were also raised through faith. And so, what's happening in baptism is also through faith. Okay? Okay, ito. Definition. No? What water baptism is? It is not a means to salvation, but a declaration of our salvation. Remember nyo yung, yung thief on the cross? No? Hindi na, di na baptize yun. Diba? Doon naka, uh, Jesus, remem- remember me. No? Remember me, no? Sabi niya. Hindi, hindi siya pinababa ng Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, di ka baptized. Hindi ganun. Diba? Ang sabi ni Jesus, truly, I say to you, Today, you will be with me in paradise. So, baptism is not a requirement for salvation. Okay? Erase, erase yung ano. <laughs> okay, next is, it is a willful choice on the part of, of, of the person. Okay? It's a willful choice. Remember in Acts 2, nag-teach si Peter, narinig ng mga believers ng 3,000, and then, na-realize nila, na one sila. They were cut to the heart. And then, saka sila nagpa-baptize. Ang tanong ko, magagawa ba yan ng infant? Yung willful choice? Tingin nyo, yung infant, marinig ba niya yung mga, kung may, kahit na sabi mo, ah, you were, God loves you! Di ba? Kung kumahawak ako mo ganyan, God loves you, God died for you on the cross. Marinig ba niyon? Ma- 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 magkakaroon ba siya ng belief doon? Okay? So, our basis of salvation is always a willful choice from faith. Okay? Yung mga infant, hindi sila makapag-practice ng faith. Tama ba? Sino ba sa inyo nakapag-practice ng faith ng infant pa? Wala, di ba? Okay. Okay, it is a public declaration of the believer's 
identification with Christ's death and resurrection. And the next, it is immersion in water. Okay? Hindi siya, ano, hindi siya wusik-wusik, no? Hindi siya baptized. Hindi ganun, ha? Hindi siya yung bubuhusan ka lang. It's immersed. Ilulubog ka. Wala namang one second yun, eh. Tapos nakaganyan ka pa. So, so hindi ka malulunod dun. No? So, mabilis lang yun. Okay? It is immersion by water. Uh, Acts 8.38, no? Nung, nung nakasama ni Philip, yung, yung yunok, no? May nadaanan silang tubig. Diyan na tayo. <laughs> Pwede na to. May, may, may pigil ba sa akin para mabaptize? Ayun. Dun. Baba sila. Baptize. Okay? Alright. So, ito, ang pinakihintay natin lahat. Yung group reflection. Okay? So, in your group, ito yung yung question, no? For your group. What command of God are you hesitant or afraid of following? Okay? And then, yung other members, while nagsasagot yung isa, you try to encourage, no? It's, you try to strengthen yung yung taong ano, yung taong nag sumasagot. Okay ba yun? Okay. And then ito. What are some areas in your life that you need to count as a cost for following Christ? Okay? Okay? So, let's have a 10-minute break. It's 8.22. 8.32, mag na tayo sa mga groups natin, then discuss among yourselves. Okay? Right. And then, sometimes yung yung pagiging madali how to forgive is the, based doon sa impact nung nagawa niya sa'yo. Pero hindi nga dapat yun yung basis. Kasi napag-usapan nga namin na pag i-remind ka how God forgive us, dapat doon ganun din sa, sa kapa natin. Tapos yung uh, <laughs> commands... <laughs> yung don't yoke din sa non-believers kasi di ba naka base naman sa, <laughs> sa sa Bible yung qualifications natin for a lifetime partner so mm. yun tapos yung time time and ano yung time tsaka yung moments na inispend natin kay Lord di ba kasi dito busy tas merong mga pagkakataon na mas mas may mga pinipili tayong gawin na mas masaya tayo compare sa mag-spend time. Pwede yung mag ng Bible, devotion, or prayers. Pero, pero pag alam mo talaga na may relationship ka sa kanya, wala yun eh. Talagang unahin, unahin mo siya. Tapos yung number two, what are some areas in your life that you need to count as a cost for following Christ? So, in summary, yung sa amin, yung tithing, mm. yung may value talaga. <laughs> pero, yun nga, sa na-share naman ng isang brother na sa kanya yun eh, binabalik lang natin. Tapos, um, ano pa ba? Tighting yun din yung time, basically. Time and tight. Uh, tights. <laughs> <laughs> ano ba? Uh, boring ba sa may mga Christians? Bakit dalawang group na yun? <laughs> do not, ano? Don't be any, don't be yoke with yeah. unbelievers. <laughs> boring ba? Boring? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Lifetime partner. Lifetime partner. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> me, me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yung na discuss namin to answer point one. Um, most of us is about, uh, yung challenge is responding with grace for EGR people. Mm-hmm. By EGR means extra grace required. And one of the situation, <laughs> mm-hmm. one of the situation that was highlighted is like, uh, yung, meron kasi kaming kasama sa group na, uh, I think nasa field sila, medical field, mm-hmm. and most of the time they are faced with patients na, sobrang clingy. <laughs> Shall I term it? Clingy. Na parang gusto sa kanila lang. And they, <laughs> they don't have, parang gusto, parang naka-attach lang sa kanila. So parang na, 
exactly. <laughs> and then uh, the other thing is, um, uh, what's the other one? Yung being imposing, too imposing yung dating. Like uh, mm -hmm. if we have friends, now we think we need to rebuke them in love. But the fear of they may see us as too imposing or we are like imposing the faith that we believe mm -hmm. sa kanila. That's one of it. And being bold as well. And the fear of sharing Christ. Even if Christ has been giving us the right time. Because we have been praying for, for this person, for example, for us to share our faith. But when God gave the right timing, natatakot na nagbabak out. So that's those are the things. And the other one is being thankful in all circumstances. We all know that that is God's command for us to be thankful regardless of whether it's good or bad. But I think that is another challenge na maging thankful. And cause, uh, some of the cause that we need, that we, we shared is yung time and energy. And the number one is yung denial of self-will. The moment we follow Christ. It's dying to our own self to follow Christ. So, but um, this is, this, yung final reflection is, um, um, this is my, 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 my reflection. Na parang all of we are is because of God. So I think when it comes to obeying Christ, we should always bear that, bear that, bear that in mind. Because whatever he has given us as a gift or what resources we have, it's all for his glory. And yun nga, whatever we are, it's all because of him. That's all. Okay, thank you. Thank you. August. Okay, August. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello, magandang gabi po sa lahat. Ito po yung group reflection po namin at sagot namin for number one, what command of God are you afraid of following? So, nagkaroon kami ng Uh, Nag-agree kaming lahat na hindi talaga kami, wala kaming fears in following God's command, but instead struggling. So, ano yung mga struggles namin? So, ito yung mga sh share sharings from my group mates. So, first one is similar uh, from the rest. Love your enemies. Parang minsan, ano, when situation calls, minsan ang hirap talaga uh, sundin yung command ni, ni Lord na to love your enemies despite of what he or she has done to you. Tapos, lalo na yung situation. At yung minsan yung mga mga memories or yung mga pains na naiwan yun sa heart mo. Ganyan. Hugo. <laughs> Next is yung love your neighbor as yourself. So, Uh, another commandment, a uh, command din to ni, ni Lord na nagkaroon din kami ng struggle to follow. Then, the third one is, don't be envious. So, sometimes na nakaka-experience tayo ng envy sa ibang tao, minsan nakakalimutan na natin yung promise talaga ni God para sa atin, hindi natin nakikita or hindi natin naalala na He has good plans for us. Yan. Dahil focus tayo minsan sa personal desires or di, di kaya na yung nako-compare natin yung life yung buhay ng isang tao sa buhay natin and <laughs> then the next one is love God above all above anything so yan sharing ng isa sa groupmate po namin na minsan sa minsan sobrang busy na ng schedule natin nakalimutan natin na dapat uunahin natin si God or si Lord sa lahat ng gagawin natin sa moment na Uh, gumising tayo sa araw na ito, God's grace yun. Uh, instead, um, magiging busy na tayo, maliligo, magluluto, or kakain. Tapos hanggang sa nakakalimutan natin mag-spare ng time sa kanya. Then, the last one, to, to do all of those things, minsan, ito personally, eh, nagkakaroon ako ng struggle to humble myself, to humble thyself, and to do all of these things, you need things, you need to humble yourself to respect your parents, your mother, to understand, to love your neighbor, you need to humble yourself. To love your enemies, you need to humble yourself. So, personally, yun talaga yung minsan struggling ka talaga. Minsan yung, when the situation calls sometimes, nandun yung magde-decide ka, isa-sacrifice mo yung, yung pride mo minsan, or ego. Yun. So, sa sagot namin for question number two, 
some, what are some areas in your life that you need to count as a cause for following Christ? Ito very interesting na sagot ng isang ka-groupmate po namin is yes, uh, friends. So, minsan di ba pag naging believer or follower ka na ni Christ, di ba? Minsan may, actually from from having friends from Catholic, di ba? Minsan may mga trip yung mga barkada, gimmick-gimmick, tapos after quite some time na hindi na kayo nakita, tapos naging believer ka na, naging follower ka na, ba? naging disciple ka na, tapos nagkaroon ng kayayaan, tapos hindi mo na masasakyan yung trip nila, o minsan yung kwentuhan, hindi ka na rin makasagot, tapos they will find you alienated na sila sa'yo, kasi hindi ka na din nakakatawa sa mga minsan joke nila, di ba? Humor nila, iba na. Yun. So, you have to sacrifice friends then. And the next one is cost of money in terms of tithing. Then, mm-hmm. and the third one is cost of time, which is common from the rest of the group. And interesting din po ito, cost of retaliation and holding of your temper. <laughs> Yun. So, minsan, di ba, yung pag may personality ka talaga, very strong yung personality mo, minsan with the situation calls again na kailangan mo sumagot or to fight back. But when pag uh, ginagayad ka ng Holy Spirit, ikokontrol ka niya na to calm down and to hold off your temper. And then, another cause is yung devotion of mind and soul. Na yun talaga, na, minsan nagko-consume talaga, na consumes a lot of cause in us, in everything that we do. And when we, whenever that we connect with the Lord or with God, it consumes the devotion of our mind and soul. So, yun po yung from our team. Thank you. Thank you. August ulit. August <laughs> September. Ang daya. 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 Ang It's not afraid of following. Uh, it's more of sometimes we forget. Sometimes we're not uh, conscious of of what we're doing. You know, parang sometimes uh, we let our self control, uh, uh, our self be controlled. You know, so uh, in terms of uh, bursts of anger, uh, sometimes uh, in situation out of out of hand. So. You, uh, we, uh, as much as possible, um, we try to follow the command. We try to be perfect like Christ, as uh, just just like what uh, uh, John said to Timothy, uh, "Follow me as I follow Christ." So, um, um, yun yung para maging focus din ng grupo namin. So, um, we what we encourage to one another is really to be first in the morning to be filled with the Holy Spirit so for the rest of the day uh, you will be bearing fruits the love, self, uh, love joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control yeah. so th- those are important so if you're filled first thing in the morning the rest of the day will be filled with the Holy Spirit so um, what are some areas in your life that you need to count as a cause for following Christ? Uh, Uh, for me, um, bilang uh, as a as a father, as a husband, um, I need to be a role model. Really, uh, I cannot do those things now when I was still a uh, binata. <laughs> I was carefree back then. I was, but this time around, I need to uh, think more of my family. Uh, so it's a, it's really a self sacrifice actually. Because you're putting those people around you in front of you, so that um, you're not just following Christ; you're guiding your family towards Christ. Okay, salamat. Okay, thank you. So, October. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, 
Okay, uh, kasi nasabi na lahat, halos nasabi na yun lahat. So, ang yan ko na lang is yung, uh, for myself, uh, yung sa commandment, siguro, mahirap, uh, sun, ma- mahirap makasunod talaga ng perfect ang commandment. Pero lahat tayo, where everyone is trying to to follow the commandment of God. Di ba? And, uh, ano pa? Uh, okay, uh, okay, yung number two naman, yung cause is, um, para sa akin is, ano, um, I would try my best to to follow Christ and whatever it is. Um, tama ba? Uh, kahit na yung super busy ako sa work, I uh, always have time to pray in the morning from ano to you know to praise God all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Ate. <laughs> okay. Nung sa Luke chapter 4, di ba? Uh, na napansin ko na marami tayong mga ano eh, marami tayong mga same challenges, no? Same challenges. Sa Luke chapter 4, nung nung tinetempt ng devil si si Jesus anong ginawa niya di ba binatuhan niya ng bible verse correct so i think when when we're in situation na mahirap no and and tadi distinguish na natin na oh man being christ like or pagbigyan ko tong uh, flesh. You use a Bible, a Bible first. No? Love your enemies. No? Na, dun sa pinag, pinakitang sample ni, ni Jesus, basta may, nung pagka may temptation, Bible verse. Temptation, Bible verse. And he came out a winner. And so, I think that that's a good uh, thing to practice na subukan nyo kung sino mananalo. Temptation. Bible verse. Huh? So, love your enemies. Isipin nyo na lang, ano, uh, kawawa din yung mga, lalo na kung hindi pa Christian, no? Madaling intindi eh, pag hindi Christian, tapos, yung ugali doon. <laughs> Isipin nyo, kawawa naman to, kasi, hindi pa siya save eh. Kung baga, uh, may something ka na, na hindi, matata- hindi mawawala eh. Pero siya, paano na kung may mangyari sa kanya, di ba? So, yung, uh, always, na, always read the Bible. We go back to the basics. We read the Bible. We go back to the fundamentals. No? The very basic. Anyway, uh, yung following Christ is, is a lifelong process, no? Hindi big sabihin na ngayong araw na to, malaki yung naging, naging challenge mo, bukas, wala na. Madalas, paunti-unti yun, eh. But, ang, ang promise sa Bible, um, uh, in, uh, in Romans, no? Uh, ko. Oh, all good. Uh, 8.28. <laughs> hmm? May, may ano? May, may nakatanda ba? Romans 8.28. All things work for the good of those who love Him. Okay? So, whatever it is na pinagdadaanan natin, no? Na as long as we love God and we have this, uh, His Word with us, no? It will work for our good. But not in our own timeline, di ba? Not in our own timeline. <laughs> it will work for our good, but not, not in our own timeline. So, anyway, uh, every morning, no, may, oh, almost every morning, may, may isa akong song na, na, na kinakanta, no, silent lang naman, kasi nasa bus ako nun, mamaya, ano mangyari, <laughs> no, mamaya si tayo na walang driver, di ba? Anyway, uh, yun yung parang ginagawa ko siyang national, parang anthem ko siya, na, offering myself 
to God of offering myself to Christ. No, so I'm not sure if you know this, but um, I I I I flash ko yung yung lyrics sa ano sa sa harapan. Then uh, we'll close in prayer after after this one. No. Um, Let's sing. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this night, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for teaching us. We thank you, Lord, for touching us, Lord God. 
We thank you, Lord, for everyone here, Lord God, who you used as your mouthpiece, Lord God, who you used to touch our lives, to touch our hearts, Lord God. And Lord, here are your children, Lord God, who are willing to offer their, their lives to you, Lord God. Here are your children, Lord God, who, who wholeheartedly follow you, Lord. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will always uh, uh, empower them, Lord. Give them the strength. Give them the, the courage. Lord, teach them, Lord, what to say, Lord God, when the time comes that they will proclaim you, Lord God. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, that they have chosen, Lord, to commit their, themselves to you, Lord God. Lord, um, we are overwhelmed, Lord God, by your love, Lord. We are overwhelmed, Lord, by, by everything you've done for us, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord God, that you're the one who saved us, Lord, even though we didn't know you, we, even though we, we didn't know what to do, Lord, even though we were, we were lost, Lord, you found us, Lord God. And Lord, I pray, Lord, for everyone here, watch over them, Lord, as we go home to our homes, Lord God. Lord, um, may they always offer themselves to you, Lord, the King of kings and Lord of lords. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay.